That's it. That's it. Yeah, basically. Oh, you can fall off now. Yeah. Throw the feet there. Yeah. Your hands just go one side of it. Oh, grand. <laughs> Interesting getting on and off now. Uh, yeah. Right. It should be all right. Oh, I put it on a bit of a throttle and push it these. What's the bag? Does that work? I know. Hello, everybody. My name is Farmer Phil, and today is the day we are going to dig some spuds. Hopefully. You probably didn't sleep last night, did you? Maybe not. But we are getting ready to dig spuds. We're hoping ground conditions will be dry enough. We have a few jobs to do. Just sort out the cattle in the yard. We have to go out then with rakes and shovels and stuff and clear all the weeds off a couple of roads because we don't have a defoliator and the old way of defoliating the roads of potatoes isn't exactly health and safety friendly. So that has to be done and we have to put together a few pallets to make a box to put the spuds into. We'll be bagging them and then emptying them in but that's the plan. So we're just Father Phil is just here putting on our new, what, what do you call it? Diverter valve with a... With a Diverter valve? Diverter valve with a spool on it. With a spool on it, so there you go. Seems to be a nice bit of kit from AgriLine, very good. Yeah, so th obviously this video is sponsored by AgriLine, we bought that piece off them. That will allow us to use our two hydraulic pipes as controls, boat wheels, so that we can set up our, our depth levels for the drill going in and then to level the table for the spuds coming off so that's why we needed that because with one spool it's plugging in and plugging out so that should do the job and so yeah i'll leave father fill at it i'll go into the yard for healthy cattle and then we'll go start clearing the weeds off the spuds and whatnot and hopefully now when we get out into the field we'll be able to go up and down the hill without getting stuck that's what the issue will be if there is an issue hopefully Anyways, we go look after the cattle. So we are out in the garden now. We have spuds and forks and stuff. Or spuds, shovels and forks and stuff. And our job now is to clear the dirt off. So the drills the hand dug, so we have some where you can see my sister digging spuds for the dinner and them ones. But we have one, I don't know if there's one inside that again maybe one two three finish four five six seven eight and then the top of nine so we've nine drills there to dig we're gonna have to pull out the chicken wire from the peas and the runner beans the garden is pretty much finished the peas are done we got a nice little crop of peas off them we're enough for a couple of dinners <laughs> there's some cabbage to be harvested we've two yolks of brussels sprouts left and then everything else is pretty much gone a couple of onions there uh, how'd the garden go all right carrots were sown too thick didn't do very well the parsnips the few that come up are massive we might dig one out later just to show you but all in all the garden went quite well but how they used to do it was they had a pulley a ferguson pulley on the back of the tractor and then a chain attached to that and it was like a little row of air very very health and safety friendly Obviously we can't do that nowadays So we will have to buy a defoliator at some stage because bigger plans for next year But um, we get this done also the winter barley as you can see is a bit yellow from all the water And the flood has come up there and just killed off a little patch of it. So that's lovely. But anyways, we'll get defoliating so here's Liv with her proudest punch her little parsnips and a big parsnip so yeah, that's that's the scale we have that size and we have that size and that size is like that's more than the width of my hand like, like a that's turnip. yeah that's more like a turnip than a parsnip huge ground for growing root vegetables anyways we go get defoliating now and we'll stop messing with vegetables not right Libby yeah, yeah.
So we now have defoliated our drills as best as we can. How'd you find that? Cat. Lovely. It's fun. You know. Do you enjoy it? Right. So now we are ready. We have it defoliated as best as we can. So we're ready to pull, pick, dig. And my father's just at the other end of the bales there waiting to come in. We are now ready. Also, for next year. Does anyone know of a handy defoliator that goes on the back of a tractor that is health and safety approved, not just a chain that spins around with no guards? Call the strimmer. Okay, you can use a strimmer next year. Oh, Does anyone know? Because I assume there would have been something at that time for defoliating that was safe to use. So anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you know of something. And hopefully the next shot will be... Oh no, should we have to put together a box now to put the spuds in, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, that's probably next. The dressing rooms at the minute, you know. Getting an old polish ready to go. Huh? She's the one to bonnet shine up well. Heading, yeah. Restored 12 years ago. Uh, the cost of it, you could have bought it fucking five times over new. Yeah. I'm sure anyways we'll have it. So this is it. this is the setup here on the your tap towers of working. Working Brilliant. good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. You're gonna have to run through Brilliant. so everyone knows what it Very does. Impressive. So it's actually quite handy yeah. where, where it is. Point point with the two pointing down it's not in the way at all and it now means that this is plumbed for hydraulic so it can do other stuff as yeah. well as digging spuds so the 35 is really getting an upgrade we get the all mag hitch on it now and it'll be the front mower huh anyways are we going to put together a box now or what's the plan we're going to dig a few spuds first. Get, a get some bags. bags. Maximum bags. Maximum oh, okay. Bags. Right, we get some bags and we get some digging done. So now, here we are. Spud digger. Near enough ready to go. So, I don't know what drill he's going to start off in. We'll get it set up and see. Right, just make sure. So, we'll let half our blocks. So that our wheels can go up and down. Oh, the rounds are rusty. Um, are they, are they so small? Yeah. No. Um, you have a little bit of something on your face oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, make yourself pretty. Okay. Bye. Never were as close to two of them in your life. Yeah. Our own one is to the side of the ditch. Our own one is just the other side of the hedge there, mangled. Mangled. Right. So, how does this work then? bag on that that's it I think that's it tell me is that right yeah that's it aha so you might want to get something out and then you pan it on the ground so your bag won't hang it'll fall when it yeah <laughs> you might want to get something that will fall up then like a proper spud digger Spuds, we better be here. Spuds! 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 Ah! It's working! Look at this! This is awesome! There's a lot of stones! This is awesome! So, we have our first buds in the bag. That's absolutely awesome machine. But as you can see, the weight is coming on them and the bags are falling. So we're going to get some of the stakes and just line them up underneath it. And that should stop that from happening. Yeah. 
Mark's done a right good job there. But it's covering up here, the next. There. You're going to have to dig the house anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Temporary spud storage. Bro, tip out that hill barrow as well. Where's Daddy gone? He's gone to get blocks to put underneath the uh, bags. That's what's in half a drill, and there's two bags in the back of the hedge there. It's doing a great job, so it is. So we have one full run, and we have one half run, and in there. It's doing a great job, so it is a great job. It's very enjoyable, this. <sighs> so here's one bag of spuds. They're big, heavy bags.
Oh my god, I'm like losing them all. want to do with them. We need the bags. We should do. Well, we need more just two bags. I hope you know. I will manage. I can't down it. Which way are we going? Oh. Is this recording now not in time lapse? No, it's yeah. recording. It's not in time lapse. No, it's, it's not. Counting time one, lapse. two, three. Point at me, bro. Just making sure, you know, everyone, you're out here in your t-shirt in the middle of oh, winter, really. November. It's November. Yeah. So, so he had a jacket on like. Well, he's good. Oh. Lots of pudge up. Oh. Anyways. So we are doing the last run here now. We have a crate full, a wheelbarrow full, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags full, and we've two bags left to fill, which I'd say we're gonna fill. We've the roosters, we've roosters dog, golden wonders dog, and the ones we're digging now are cur pinks, and they're coming up quite big, so they are. They're coming up huge. Yeah. So we're ready to go again now. Soil is a bit heen damp of itself. Not this time. Conked it. So the soil is a bit wet of itself and um, everything is sticking as coming up in these clumps like that. Not what you want, but the weather isn't over great, so we get it done now. We'll have our spuds dug. What's wrong? Yeah, because he's a revved out. So you can see now, oh, that wheel drops and this one stays up. That is how his diverters are working under the seat to adjust it. 
So I'm on bagging, so I just kind of pick stones yeah, off. Don't, don't pick stones, look after the bags. Yeah, and I'm picking stones off, so you don't have to put stones into the bags and grass. That, that's mainly directed, Sods. That's just because nobody You can see the spuds coming. So what they do, they pick them off, drop them down, they come back around, and here, stone, who's picking stones? And you can see in there, it's working away nicely. Big spuds. This is still recording, yeah, in my head, yeah? Yeah, yeah, possibly. The look of concentration on all your faces. <laughs> Shut up, bro! What are you concentrating? Oh. Yeah. I am concentrating. Barely. I am! We're going to run out of bags. I told ya. Two more bags. Grant. We unload this bag. Oh. Let's just pull up some of the beetroot with us. Pull up some beetroot for the crack. Why? Why not? That's the spuds dog. Oh. Here, bro. Have a bite of it. So, that is Bud Harvest 2020 finished. We got to use our new machine, the Saint Massey 711 Padilla Harvester. Had a bit of crack with it. It's actually quite fun to use, so it is. Quite fun. So now, we bring it in, wash it off, and we'll wax it and grease it and oil it and whatnot to put away for the winter to have it for next year. So, yeah, that's really it. That was fun. So with all them spuds there, and we have our little crate here. This is all a box of roosters. That's a box of cur pinks. And then there's golden wonders, roosters and cur pinks in that. There is quite a lot of soil out there. It's just a little bit damp. The soil is just that little bit damp. And that's why all the clay is stuck to it. But beggars can't be choosers. We have the spuds dug now. Our few rows next year could be half an acre in a different garden elsewhere. So happy out. What's your thoughts? Waiting for it to get bright now. Yeah. And that's the conditions to put yeah. Happy with it. Oh, yeah, we turn the wheels over next year. Yeah, so it lifts more up clear. higher. Yeah, far more clear. Yeah. Any other thoughts on it? No, no. Perfect. Happy with it. Didn't grow enough spuds. No. Yeah. So that's it. What do you all think of the spud harvester? It was mad. You ready to pick a few acres for next I year? I am not going at the end ever again. <laughs> Too much pressure, is it? Yeah. yeah. Especially when everybody decides <laughs> to stop and it all just, just went. I just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just stopped it and I brought it all in. That's why all the stones went yeah. into it. Yeah, well, nobody helped me, so I was like, you can have it all. What do you think, bro? It was fun. It was fun. So you're ready for the half an acre we'll grow next year? No, I'm not gonna pick half an acre, man. Why not? Yeah. That is it for today's video. That is the Spud Harvester, the 7 Eleven on the 35X. Old school, the old way of doing it. This is the outfit that would have run back in the day. My uncle and my grandfather when they, and my father, they were digging spots. This is what they used. And our one of them is this, the other side of that hedge there in a mangle that'll be heading for the skip, what? Huh? Yeah, but her, her, the original one. The original one that granddad bought in the like 70s. Why not fix up that one? 
because it's like twisted into a ball so i was just editing the video on the potato harvester and i remember saying i was going to show you the setup when we had done but we didn't i didn't show you so anyways i will show you now so this is the chest va diverter valve chest valve whatever you want to call it we got off agriland agriline and we have it on now you want uh, so this is this is it two levers two pipes coming out around under the back at the back of the seat come around into two fittings there's no there's no like play for housing them properly so we might do something on that someday but done the job but they have done the job we actually we talked about washing it off after my father says we won't wash it off because we'll be washing the dirt into the machine he says that we'll leave it we'll let all the clay dry and then we'll spin it and we'll brush it down and We'll spray it up. He doesn't really just he doesn't really want to wash it. He says we'll wash the clay into it. But anyways, so that is it. Well, one of the things actually now we were a little bit concerned about when we got it was where these were. You can have them that way or you can have them straight up. My father was concerned that they'd be in the way. And even though look at if they were in the way, you can screw them out and you can put them in the toolbox and have them whenever you want. But my father said that with them there they're not in the way at all. He, he, he said there were no issue whatsoever with them. Maybe a little bit harder getting in and in and out of the tractor just because you have that less space in the middle. But he was quite happy with how that turned out. And it's not, he says it's not in the way at all. I haven't been on it. But anyways, just said I wanted to show you that. And if you want to know, go where we got this. There'll be links in the description down below. We got that off. Agriline. Um... <clears throat> Agriline tractor parts and accessories. They sponsored today's video. That's where we bought we bought that off them and we bought the hitch off them. We've bought quite a lot of stuff off them. And when we get eventually get started at the 590 and the Massey 50, we've a lot more stuff to get off them as well. But they have a great selection of stuff for vintage, classic, and modern tractors, especially the vintage and classic world of stuff on that. So if you're if you want to learn more or get see what they have, link in the description down below to their website. You can get likes of this and you can look through their catalogue of stuff. It's massive and it's very well broken down into selecting your makes, your models and your bits of your different tractors. Anyways, we'll go back in and finish off the video. So anyways, we're going to leave it at that. And as I said, next year, it's half an acre of spuds for the wee project me and Liv have going on. We're going to leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you enjoyed seeing the spud digger in action. Yeah, comments in like that. As always, hit me down in the comments down below. That is it from us. That's it from us? Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Now watch, some of the bags are ripped. Don't spill them. Bro, there's a nice small bag for you. That one there. Oh, I'm not walking up any further. There's a lot, Jess. Come on, bro. Pick it up. Come on, Mr. Muscles. Hand down. Oh, Jesus, shit, man. <laughs> He's coming, shit, man. And? I'm not carrying You have to. Fuck oh, off. Come on, bro. Bertie, what is he? A lazy bastard. <laughs>